I recently asked my subscribers a question. What's the number one challenge that's stopping you from investing in a few properties and living off the rental income for the rest of your life? Alex Bradley in Gloucestershire kindly replied with, I don't understand how anyone can live off of just a handful of properties. I have spent countless hours crunching the numbers, but using a property strategy that focuses on vanilla buy to lets, I end up needing about 20 properties before I could ever quit my day job. I just don't know how you can get there with just a handful. Thank you so much for the question, Alex. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna be addressing it in this video. Hi, my name is Tony Law from Your First Four Houses. My channel is all about helping you replace a job-based income with just a handful of properties. So you can give up the day job if you wish and go and do something more interesting with your life. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on any of the free content that I give you each and every week. So the key here is that opening phrase, replace your income with just a handful of investment properties. And obviously this is largely what Alex is actually addressing. And I really appreciate the question. Before I get into the answer though, can I thank everybody who has answered that, that question from last week? My goodness me, I have had hundreds of responses, hundreds and hundreds of responses come into that. I really appreciate them. The bad news is though, I'm not gonna be able to get back to everybody. There's just too many. But um, thank you so much if you took the time. I'm gonna be going for as many as I can over this next few weeks whilst we're in lockdown. But let's get back to your question, Alex, because it's an excellent one. Um, I will always maintain that if you have the right type of property, you can live and have a great income actually from just maybe four or six types, uh, four or six investment properties. The, the average UK income is around about 30,000 pounds at the moment. So if you can get maybe five properties that are gonna each cash flow you after tax around about 500 pounds a month, well, you're there. That is 30,000 pounds a year income. You then replace the average UK income. Now I have to emphasize here that I'm actually not really referring to vanilla buy to lets. You need, I feel, to focus more on those higher cash flowing type strategies. So we're really kind of looking at maybe HMOs in particular, but also maybe looking at serviced accommodation units as well. But I always had a thing about HMOs. I think they are a fantastic cash generating machine, even though in some parts of the country, there is now an oversupply of rooms. I think we're all aware of that but you've got the right property in the right location. It is like a cash machine. It will just put money in your bank account every single month. Now I've got properties that cash flow in excess of 2000 pounds a month after I've paid all of the expenses. You don't need many of those to live a great lifestyle and get yourself a great income. But I honestly feel it's really relatively simple to get a, a property to cash flow at around about the five to six to seven hundred pounds a month mark if you are selective about the property that you are choosing. Now I really don't think it should be your first property. Now um, I know um, because we just had a conversation on the phone Alex that you've already got one or two properties but I honestly think, and they're single lets, and I totally get that, and that's awesome as a place to start. And I actually think everybody should start the same way. They should focus their first property on a more conventional single let, because that's the, the right thing to do. As I know you found, you learn so much from doing that first single let, and maybe getting in there and getting your hands dirty a little bit, and I'm always used to be guilty of that. As a kitchen fitter, I'd always wanna get in there and kind of do a lot of the work myself. Um, but you will learn so much from getting in there and doing some of that initial work on that single vanilla buy to let. But once you've done that, I think there's a strong argument to switch, to switch over to looking at cash flowing properties. Again, focusing on HMOs, probably in areas where there is the strongest level of demand. So maybe that's not on your immediate doorstep. Maybe you're gonna stretch just a little bit further afield because demand is everything, especially when it comes to HMOs. But start to focus your energy and your effort on looking for that type of deal because if you do, you'll pick up one or two or three or four of those types of properties and Alex, you will be financially free, almost certainly just from that number. 
So I really hope that helps you, but I also hope it helps everybody else that's watching this video. But before you go, don't forget, there is a little bit of a bribe that I offered last week <laughs> when I uh, mentioned that I was gonna be doing these videos. Alex, I loved your question. I've got loads of others that I'm gonna be putting out there. And I promised anybody that I made a video for, I would give you one of my books off my bookshelf. So I haven't prepared this very well. We're down in Dartmouth at the moment, as you can probably see by the amazing background over there. And so I stuffed a load of books in a Marks and Spencer's bag. <laughs> um, and what I'm going to do is just pick one out for you, if that's okay. So I'm not, I'm genuinely not looking. Uh, let's just pull one straight off the top. So Alex, I'm going to be sending you, if I can get my glasses out, I'm going to be sending you the Daily Telegraph Property Series Buying Bargains at Property Auctions. I have read this. It was quite some time ago. It's a great book and I know you're going to benefit from it. So Alex, thank you so much for your question. This will be coming to you in the post this evening. If I can go and find a post office that's open. Uh, and for anybody else who's watching, please stay tuned because over the next few days, I've got a number of other questions I'm going to be answering that I really hope will help you move forward in your property investing journey in 2021.